Hello, and welcome to the Leader New Product announcement video. My name is Steve Holmes, and normally we would have been in Las Vegas this month, catching up with old friends, meeting new ones, and finding out about the latest technology innovations. But we weren't, and we didn't. So here at Leader, we've put together this short little video on the LVB 440 IP analyzer. Now you might be wondering, why has Leader introduced an IP analyzer when we already have the LV5600 and the LV7600 true hybrid IP and SDI waveform monitors? So rather than me explain this, I'd like to introduce Kevin Salvage, the European Regional Development Manager from Leader Europe, who's been involved in the LVB440's development. Well, thank you, Steve, for the introduction. So, why do we need the LVB440? The leader LV5600 and 7600 have proved invaluable as our customers start the migration from SDI to IP and will continue to do so for more and more customers starting that migration. But with all the technology innovations, there comes a point where test and measurement products need to address customers' next series of requirements. So, Kevin, before we get into the technical details, who should be interested in the LVB440 IP analyzer? If you're currently involved or considering using SIMPTE 2110 or 2022 6 and 7 in your day to day broadcast operations as either a system integrator, broadcast design consultant, systems architect, IP network engineer, or DevOps engineer, then I'd recommend staying tuned. So let's talk about technology. What COTS based hardware is the LVB440 based upon? The LBV440 is a true COTS server in a 1RU chassis with dual 100 gig network interfaces with an optimized Linux sent OS and drivers. It supports both SMPTE 2022-6 and 2110 suite of standards and 2022-7 seamless protection switching of RTP datagrams, as well as NMOS ISO 4, 5, 7 and 9. So what are the new challenges broadcasters are facing as they start to address their next set of requirements? We now have multiple IP streams making up IP services, and engineers need to monitor these streams simultaneously. So with the LV56 and 7600, you can only monitor a single UHD TV service or four HD services simultaneously. But with the LVB440, with its dual 100 gig IP interfaces, we can monitor multiple streams. Also, with the LBV440, engineers can group together IP streams to enable simultaneous analysis. With the LBV440, engineers can group together IP streams to enable simultaneous analysis as a service. Here, you can see on a single stream, both video, audio and ancillary data streams. And as it's SIMPTE 2022-7 implementation, we can also view both the primary and secondary streams. Note, at the bottom of the screen, engineers can quickly and easily select alternative IP services, depending on your analysis requirements. The LBV440 provides eight independent instrument views that can be monitored remotely over a wide area network and even support mobile devices using phones with 5G services. The LVB440 supports both SMPTE 2022-6 and 7 and 2110, allowing operators to quickly switch between a mixed environment of SMPTE standards. The LVB440 provides an in-depth suite of analysis tools, including SMPTE 2110-20 and 21 video analysis. You mentioned earlier that IP enables workflows that we could not have even dreamt of with SDI infrastructures. 
Can you give me some examples? Here's an example of how the LVB440 is used, not only for analysis of the IP streams and the services with the instrument view display. As you can see, they're also using the widgets API to create the multi-viewer display. The multi-viewer display on the left features five camera sources and waveform displays, as well as a program and picture preview and other auxiliary feeds. The widget API can be configured to display not only the picture, but also its safe area marker cages, audio level bars, and under monitor display graphics. Whereas the multi-viewer display on the right is custom configured for 10 different images. The LVB440 supports NMOS operation. And in this example, an NMOS control panel is being utilized to switch the video sources. The low latency of the widget API, which is typically less than two frames, now allows facilities to use the SIMPTI 2110-20 video streams directly, rather than having to convert them via a gateway product from IP to SDI, which increases the latency and makes them unacceptable for live production. In the central equipment room, the widgets API have been integrated into the Densitron TFT monitor. So instead of having a fixed monitor layout, customers can build operational specific monitoring layouts and populate the display with the SIMPTI 2110 20 and 30 streams. And finally, live production. In live production, not only can the LVB440 widgets API be used as a multi viewer display, the low latency operation allows camera shaders to use the widget API to display pictures and waveform displays for camera shading. This capability then opens up the possibility of true distributed remote IP production, as the LVB440's widget API can be viewed over a wide area network, allowing production staff to be remotely located, whilst at the same time providing engineering staff with the capabilities to monitor IP streams and services over the wide area network. Kevin, that's really interesting. And thank you for the introduction to the Leader LVB 440. I'm sure you agree that the Leader LVB 440 is more than just a simple IP analyzer. If you'd like more information or would like to schedule a demonstration, please do not hesitate to contact either myself or your local leader representative. Many thanks and thank you for watching.